Hang on. So she. Back to. Bang on Rampa. V. Three. Killing Monokuma. Hopefully. That's not gonna happen. Because. He's got some bull up his sleeve. And so does Kokichi. I don't know if they're in cahoots with each other, but. I don't know, dude. I think, uh, Kokichi, Kaito, and Maki are gonna get into something. And that's what this next trial is gonna be about. I don't know, maybe, maybe Kaito will try to kill Monokuma, and I don't... I don't freaking know. No, just stop making... theories. Hypotheses. Ah, Smoogs. Shuichi. Are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey. I remember hearing Mew getting all worked up about it, but in Kiba's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he used those, he wouldn't have to depend so much on Monkey in uh, fights. That's true, but Kiba said that he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so. But in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. He's got a point. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One's man, one man's moe is another man's trash. Hmm? Wait, is that how it goes? Well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead. One man's moe. <laughs> Alright. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing superb, thanks. I think I used that adjective in the last gameplay, but I don't give a crap. Here we go, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Well, he, he's about to start a bonfire or something. All right, all right everyone's here. Hope you're all ready. Uh, are those weapons? No, they're just yeah. props. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. <laughs> you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Mm. Ready to fight and win. Yeah. We challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. up. This time, we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're going to beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> what a coinky dink. I was planning on ending this killing game, too. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi. What the? You know... I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. About to play croquet? You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. That... Is that a bomb? A bomb? Yep, it's exactly that. Which means... If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. So? Wait, what was I gonna tell you? Don't lie. You're the one who said it. You little. You? What are you gonna do with that bomb? Ah. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there's only two left. But, but never mention how anything about how many you can kill, right? Oh, well, I guess it didn't, did it? In the previous two games, yeah, but I guess it didn't mention in this one. What? So, here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. You... What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? The, the way you were going to end the killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then... Who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to Gonta. Bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokiji, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. What a surprise. 
I don't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Like the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to make another assassination classroom reference. <laughs> the, uh... The, what are they called? It's not the anti- is not the anti Koro sensei. I thought there was a name for it. We got knives and the bullets. Everything Kokichi said is putting a huge strain on our hearts. You bastard. That a-hole. How long is he gonna keep screwing around? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with him? I have no idea what he, what he's actually thinking. Is he even actually human? After seeing that, Kimo seems more human than he is. Oh, whoops, I looked at the mountain weapons. The weapons that Kaido brought. I can't imagine these are the ultimate anti-Monokuma weapons. Dang it. No, I'm trying to look at Kaito, not the weapons. Look, I'm pointing right at Kaito. What? Determined enough to end the killing game? I never thought I'd hear you say that. As I, thought. I didn't expect Kokichi to lay low. But killing all the two of us is a horrible idea. But... He might seriously do it, though. Be careful, Suichi. Could it be... The ultimate anti monokuma weapons. Are you talking about the hammers? There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Muse Memento. Muse Memento? Yeah. Yeah, they're called Electra Hammers. They're something I asked Mew to invent. How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Huh? Disables electronic machines? <laughs> I bet that includes Kipo too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up. How did you know that we were gonna fight Mono? Oh, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. And that's why I asked Miu to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Monocubs. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game a whole, the whole time. Is there really something Miu made? Aren't you lying about that too? Are you going to doubt that too? Of course. Have you forgotten everything you've done up till now? Yeah. Done to us up till now? Yep, I forgot. Yeah. How do you expect us to believe that? Because this doesn't make sense. If Miu made that weapon, why didn't she? Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Mm. Yeah. If there are weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Yes. This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault. Oh man. I told Miu too, you know. Around the time I asked her to invent this, I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... What a pain in my A. Why do I gotta make this again? Quit well, complaining. This is all... This is all an uneffable, ugly biatch like you is good for anyway. What? Uh, okay. But... but this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Don't be stupid. If you're gonna do it, do it yourself. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an Exosol before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him. And I can't afford, I can't afford to die here anyway. Now I still need to invent something that's going to change the world. So, if you want to define Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with but me. if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to help. Thank you. Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exosols were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. Well, you, know. but you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? 
You showed your determination to fight together. You ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around. Now he's sounding like Nagito. What are you saying? You probably lied just... You probably just lied about talking to Miyu. By the way, the Electra Hammers weren't the only thing Miyu made. She made this thing too. What? That bomb too? It has a mouse on it. I know Monokuma hates mice. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though. Even if it's called an Electra Bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Please wait. Settle? We have no intentions of using such suspicious looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these electro hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel? See? You can use the Electra Hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you finally starting to believe me? But... Be careful. Electra Hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge. So watch out for that. Um... Anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the Electra Hammers over. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore, either. Huh? Won't interfere? See? I'll be looking from a distance. Or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was the writing in the courtyard? If I remember correctly. That message that Gonta found. This world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? What's that? I have no idea. Don't, don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You've got to be the one who did it. But... I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? I would just make you guys suspect I'm the mastermind. Mastermind? Because... Yeah, this world is mine. Kokichioma would make me seem like a mastermind. Ah. I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly went in this killing. Suddenly... A dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Ooh, yes. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki Roll, cut it out. You'll get killed if you don't. I told you, we can't play this killing game. That's just what Monokuma wants. Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. Jeez, you're such a meanie. How can you do something like this to a friend? Friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I see you all, all of you as my friends. Th that's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore. So please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the Electra Hammers. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. Looking at it, it definitely seems like something Miu made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. You know, if it's not a lie. Then isn't this our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use these Electra Hammers, Maybe we can get through the underground passage. Why don't we try it? Why does he have blood in his mouth? What is it? You mean actually doing what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. Are you really going to believe Kokichi? No. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? There's a chance we can do it, and we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? He doesn't have enough time. Time? Uh, okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like, he's gonna get in our way soon. Mm -hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so... Let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. See. We do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. The secret of the outside world. The despair Gonta mentioned. Was that a lie? Was it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. We have to try. All right. 
that's all we got to do. Well, that's all we've got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. Either way, we should at least try. So we won't have any regrets. What should we do? The hammer's a trap. That don't really kill that. Come on, you can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm just gonna beat him to a bloody pulp. If everyone else is gonna do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Oh, yeah, right on. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point in worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. The only thing I can do is keep moving forward. Right. Let's get going. We're going to escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kaido gave a triumphant shout and we all grabbed our electric hammer. Yes. Let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Oh boy. We're gonna go back here. Dude. Oh, hold on. We're not there yet. Alright, let, let's go. It's been so long. Just looking back on that first time that I did this. Dang, dude. Came a long way. Um, Kibo, what's wrong? You're not gonna head downstairs? Shuichi! I have a favor to ask of you. This hammer disables electronic machines, right? Could it be? Are you concerned that it will disable you too? Well, of course! Wait, of course I'm curious. The outcome will settle once will settle once and for all how Muse perceived me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. A waste, huh? I see. It would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. Huh. So robots pout too. <laughs> it's good that going to remove that manhole before, you know, he died. I sound so heartless saying that. I'm sorry. Let's get started. What should we do? Are we really going to be okay? What are you afraid of? Of course it's going to be okay. Right? Actually. You seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. There's no need to worry. Of course, it's gonna be a little dangerous, but Don't worry about we've got all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be alright. Uh. There's words. I was gonna say he sounds like Kaede. Yeah. We can finally fulfill Kaede's wish. What's her voice? So let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get outside of here and make it to the outside world. Why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise together. That's right. I promise to work together to get out of here, become friends. I see. Now is the time to fulfill that promise. Mm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. You need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede, I will never give up. I can't give up. No matter what, let's keep our promise to Kaede. Let's keep our promise so we can mourn our fallen friends. Oh, man. I mean... We don't have time to talk. Let's go. Well... All we can do is move forward. We won't know if this hammer is Kokiji's trap or the real thing until we use it. Yeah. If the one who made these hammers was really Mew, and they really work, that's also the power of an ultimate. I don't know what help a cosplayer can be, but I want to fulfill my pro promise to Kaede. Right. That's why I've decided. I'm ready to move forward. Hey, Shuichi. Leave the cheering to me. Now's the time to finally pull magical pom-poms out of my mouth. Oh, you guys. It's been such a journey. I know it's not over yet, but... I love you all. <laughs> I don't want you to die anymore. <laughs> no. Alright. I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Mew invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I stepped into the tunnel. 
Oh boy, here we go. Oh. Ooh. Are you okay? Ooh, what the wreck, dude? Boy, I remember this. Hold on. Oh! 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 God, I died. What? Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. Well, we're down to two people. That's great. Oh, we can wreck these dudes. Oh my god. What would I do? Oh my god! Okay, that's what I have to do. I have to do that thing. It makes it easier. Okay. okay. What's that do? Okay, th those things, they got me last time. But how do you avoid that? You can't avoid them! Ah, muffins. So nobody's gonna, even, nobody's gonna even say anything. We just have to beat it. <laughs> Alright. There, there's gotta be a way to get past okay? those. That's true. Leave it to me. Are you okay? Ha ha! That's what you gotta do, do, do. Okay, that's it. So suck hammer. Okay, and that helps everything. Oh, I thought I thought. Okay. Right there. Can we like piggyback on each other. How the fudge do you get past that part? Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, Maki, roll. Do you, maybe you just have to roll. That's definitely not what you have to do. And I just realized <laughs> I kind of made a pun because I called her Maki roll. Mother crapper! What do you have to do? Everyone. What do you have to do? God dang it. Why? There's no way to get past it. Try your best, dude. Oh my god, I got past it! What the fudge? So I really just had to do a psych out? <sighs> what? Does that mean I could have done it in the first game? Wait, did I really do it? Kaito! You did a Kaito? Oh my god, there's more. Ooh! What is that? God, dude, look at all this bull. Oh boy. What's with. Okay. Ooh! 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 <laughs> dude, what the fudge? Kaido is beasting it right now. What are those things? I'm gonna have to be like go back and try like retry this without the hammers and see if it's even possible. Oh my god, when does this end? Is there an end? Oh! I know, I was thinking the same thing, dude. Do you just have to like keep playing until you actually beat it? You you have to beat that game. Alright. 
But now I think I know how to beat that part. I just have to be careful. Well, that's pretty much everything. All right, let's go, guys. Let's not do shit up. Suck it, suck it, and suck it. Ooh. Be careful, guys. What did I do last time? I don't remember what I did. Oh god, guys. Oh god, did we all make it? Did we all seriously just make that? Okay. Grab right up that part. Okay. Okay, so normally, you would have to... You have to go on this moving platform. Twice. Oh god, okay. Oh, we all made it, dude. Ooh. Let's go, guys. It's weird that they do like the same move as I do. Could you imagine doing that move? Fudge. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna Oh boy. Alright, we got this. We got this, Sweet. We got this, guys. God, I couldn't imagine doing this. Like, on final throw, the hardest difficulty, which is doing it at the beginning. We're freaking high Oh god, dude, we're doing it. We're doing it. Fudging big. Okay, guys, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright, let's regroup. Two more. You guys okay? Right, we're about to not be okay. Where are they start? Oh my god, it's right there. Do I have do I do I fake it out? Or do I just keep rolling? I don't know. Try try rolling. Oh, oh thanks. They removed some of them. I'm gonna do crap. Okay. Oh my god, look at that crap. Just keep rolling. Dude, there's no way you can beat this. What is that? We did it! With all people! What? I really wonder if there's a way that you could have beaten that with Kaede. Like, maybe you get a secret ending or something. Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long, we thought there was no end. But there was indeed an end. And in the end, there was... Crap. Oh. Is this... the exit? That's right. Seems like it. Look there. It's a door. On the other side of that door... Yeah, it's probably the outside world. Is that 59 digit code works? We did it! We can finally escape! No. Don't get your hopes up. We need to know if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. You're right. We don't know what the outside world looks like now. Huh. It's fine. Monokuma was probably just lying to us. The skies over this academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. Everything's fine out there. Um. Anyway, let's open that door. We'll have plenty of time to talk afterward. Looks similar to the electric barrier in the front of the ex exosol hangar. Unless we disable that, we won't be able to open that door. All right. Let's look around. Well. Even though we've come this far, Monokuma hasn't appeared yet. How strange. Uh. We thought He thought we couldn't get through the underground passage, so he wasn't worried. But now, he's probably freaking out. I bet his face is all blue. Right. If so, then he wouldn't be Monokuma anymore. He'd be a... Blueberry! Uh, uh, uh. Or maybe Kokichi is distracting him. That's wrong. There's no way Kokichi would do that. I can't believe he'd do that either, but the hammers were just like he said, so maybe. I can't help but wonder why. It is odd that Monokuma didn't try to interfere with us at all. This is where he wants us. If Miu made these a while ago, we should have all teamed up then. Yes. Yeah. If we'd done this back then, Gonta wouldn't have, would have been with us. But she said Miu was too scared of betrayal to cooperate with us. Her fear of death made her more willing to kill us than defy this killing game. That punk was brainwashed by the killing game. Oh, there were still two exosols then, and we weren't as rebellious as we are now. Maybe it was unavoidable. <sighs> we managed to make, the, make it this far because of the Miu's electro hammer. Kokichi was actually telling us the truth about them. I'm pretty surprised, actually. That's right. Just when you think it's, he's all lies, he suddenly tells the truth. He's a very inscrutable person. Yeah. 
Still. Still. Oh. We gotta find somewhere to get past this barrier. That reminds me. This place seems less like a building and more like the inside of a spaceship. Or a submarine in some anime or sci-fi movie. Could it be? This is a control panel for the barrier. It's like the one in the Exile hangar. I should be able to disable the barrier with a passcode. A password? Does anyone know it? We don't need that. Yeah. If it's electric, we just gotta destroy it with these hammers. It seems this lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro hammer to open it. Let's destroy the control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate. Then everything will be over. We can say goodbye to this killing game and the academy. That's true. Finally, this ga death game is going to end. At last, we can return to our normal... Oh, God. Normal lives. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. The secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go! It's finally time to graduate from the academy of lies. With that... Kaito swung the electro hammer in. Smashed it down onto the control panel. Lock disabled. Yay, the door's unlocked. No, I just gotta open this gate. Let's all work together. We can do it. Hey, finally, finally we can get out. We all ran to the door. Oh gosh. And with our own hands, with our own strength. We open that door. Our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. Fudge. <laughs> they look horrified. What is this? What's going on? What is this? Uh, I can't breathe. I, I I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Barely conscious, we heard a sound in our heads. Did Kibo lock it for us? Are we really in space? What? What happened? Oh. Congrats! You finished the killing game! Kokichi! Are you okay? Get together. It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know. Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? What? Humanity? <laughs> well then, fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time, What was that just now? What's going on? On the other side of that door was... Where even are we? Where? What in the world is going on? Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible. Of course you guys are. Because you, you now know the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? You saw it, right? The outside world you guys so desperately long for doesn't exist. What do you mean, it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Hold on, the end of the world. What are you talking about? Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm gonna not tell you anything. Got it? But... 
Um... Tebow, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. The Gopher Project. Yeah. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help ah. them escape the world's end. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. So we are what's left These of humanity. <laughs> of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the 16 students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. And that's when the ultimate hunt comes into play. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. Wow. <laughs> it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. Ah, I see. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. Wow. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that Ark is the true identity of this academy. Huh? What? The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? This whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? What are you saying? What? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> oh, hold on now. Story isn't done yet. By the way, don't you think it's strange? How do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project made one terrible oversight. A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? How exciting! There's the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher Project. And they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on the ship. Yeah. Yep, that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep. And they were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they are now here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. And Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. And Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There's no place for you B-Tards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? Doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago. Except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Oh. Well, last 7 survivors of humanity. It's a lie! Th that's a lie. It's definitely a lie. I told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that means... Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cold I mentioned earlier? The leader? It's me. Huh? 
anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is <laughs> me. But how? Kichi, you, you're the mastermind. I didn't want to just crush the Gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst possible way. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? I wonder if he's. What? I wonder if he's lying though. You? It's, a lie. it's gotta be a lie. Oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Kokichi took out what looks looked like a remote control out of his pocket and filled with it. And a minute later, Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the Mono Cubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start. But for you to be the mastermind... Oh, man. You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. So disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. Maybe this is, is this it? whole colony is his lab then. <laughs> hint, you left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that's pre that precious hint went to waste. All well, because you beatards trusted each other. Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys should have realized I was a mastermind earlier, and there could have been less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaida had the right idea to, to try to kill the mastermind at the start. Too bad, though. If only she had killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? Were we just being led around by you this whole time? Are you mad? So, what are you going to do about it? Of course I'm mad. Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the exosols on your side. Because we've got the Electro Hammers. What? What's happening? Still use it with a real hammer. Wow. Typical Kaito. I guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? The, the Electro Hammer. At that moment, his Electro Hammer powered down. And not just Kaito's. Every Electro Hammer powered down at once. Well, I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... It lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit of nervous. Did, did you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead. You can't turn Earth back to normal. Right? Always messing around. Even if that is the case. I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito. Wait. I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain first. Stop it! Pamaki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaido charged at the Exosol and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exosol's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use to find me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were wow. built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Oh. Give Kaito. Maki? Give it back. Give Kaito back. Her ice cream murder. My. my uh. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. Maki, even if you let go, Maki, it's no use. I I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Alta Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But your talent is useless now. 
the mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Ending? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed and we're the last human beings left, what are we supposed to do from now on? How about do anything you want? I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see out of despair in your faces. Yep, burrs. I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on. You were the one that started all this. That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that, too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. Which is why there aren't any animals. So that means... So anyway, killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. I just wanted to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Shrichi, can I have the Exosol Hangers alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking that'd be a perfect place to keep Kaido in. Stop. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi. Hand it over, Shuichi. Bastard. Don't give it to him. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks! Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then, he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us. And left. He left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair. Dude. <laughs> they dropped way too much on me. I mean... It, it's, it's not like I didn't expect it, but it's like... When you're experiencing it, even if it's a game... Fudge. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it right there, guys. Um, yeah. Have you guys enjoyed this? Like, if you liked it, it's like, just like, or whatever. I mean... Oh, man. Alright. As always. Peace!